Hello everyone, welcome back to Teleglitch. Okay, now, thanks to making it to level 10, amazingly, I can start from level 7. And I'm also going to be testing something new out, which I will show in just a minute after I start. Alright, before I do anything else, let me see what I start with. Actually, let me get out of here, so it's not so loud. Okay. Um, ooh, I can make a Tesla coil with what I have. Tube and M chip. Well, a detector is basically a must. Yeah, I'm gonna make a detector. Let's make a big explosive. Hmm, can't really make anything else. Alright, heavy rifle to the top. Uh, that up there. Um. Yeah, that's pretty good. Got my heavy long-range stuff, and then my general MG, and then my double shotgun. Got quite a bit of ammo for the uh, armor-piercing assault rifle as well. So that's nice. Okay, now here's what I'm going to test. I w let me get further away from the noise. Is this the level where I fought the squid monster? Is it going to be out there? Okay, I think I'm safe. Alright, here's what I'm going to test. I was reading on the Steam forums about an experimental thing that was added in a recent patch to the game. If you go into the console, which is accessed by F1... Here we go. I... Wow, is that actually spoiling some of the game? Patrol Group 1, Welder, 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 Patrol Group 2, Squid? Is that telling me what I'm going to encounter? Hmm. I guess I need to be careful not to open up the console too much. Uh, so the experimental thing you can add is scan lines. Which is just a cosmetic thing, of course. But sounds pretty neat. So I'm going to turn it on and see how it looks. Uh, settings dot scan line uh, equals true. Um, did I do that wrong? Settings dot scan line equals true. I have no idea, but it obviously doesn't work. I don't mean the command doesn't work, I mean whatever I'm typing in does not work. I'm probably just entering it wrong. Anyway, let's go. Oh, hi. Well, my first encounter and it's going horribly. I wasted two shots and took damage. Alright, where is that squid thing? I know it's here. Modern armies. Large communities and corporations are able to afford armies made of purely robots, reactivated units, or cloned combat organisms. Medium-sized groups can afford mercenaries from China Incorporated, and everybody poor must use live human soldiers recruited from their own communities. Okay, so the poor people are using live human soldiers. A nice medkit here. I'm going to go ahead and make a stimulant, actually. I'm super paranoid about that squid thing coming back. Tube. Can make an SMG. Nope. Don't really care. Alright, let's go this way. Lucky I didn't get shot.
Now, I know they turn slowly, so I should theoretically be able to run out there and shoot it. But I don't want to. Let's go this way. Okay, these things. Uh, I think I need to... They have heavy armor, so... Yeah. I don't even remember what boss I fought on this 7th level. Did I even fight a boss? Really? A pathetic little amoeba? Those seem so... old now. I'll use my crappy grenade launcher. I feel so tactical going around corners like this. I heard amoebas. Actually, let me use my taser. Actually, wait a minute. No. I don't use my taser because it uses a battery which could be used by a laser gun if I ever find one. Oh, hi. Let's see if these work. That actually did work. Alright, got a bunch of tasers. Guess I'll dump them for the ammo. Now I have a shit ton of battery. Actually, let me get my grenade launcher out of there. There we go. Oh, hi! <laughs> oh my god. I tried to move, I just didn't move fast enough. Okay. Don't stop to shoot, really. It's okay, I didn't get far. New game. I really like the Tesla coil, but I also really need a detector. Actually, let me go ahead and make the stimulant instead of the medkit. I think that's more important. Okay, sorting that back to there. Yep, uh, no, there, like that, and good. No one here. Robot technologies. Robots become commonplace after uh, became commonplace after the so-called robot revolution, which happened once production of robotic units was handed over to robots themselves. This has significantly reduced robot prices and resulted in at least half the military conflicts over the world being fought by robots against robots. While Greystar Milita corporations are known for reliable high-tech units, guerrilla production companies and local engineer shops provide a variety of interesting but often unreliable bots. Ah, I just heard something open. Oh, hi. They actually managed to shock me. Those little tiny shocks really do 20 hit points of damage? Damn. Ooh, secret.
Is that a bunch of canned meat? It is. Ah, thing of beauty. Hundred and fifty hit points. Achievement unlocked. Steroid monster. Oh yeah. All right, I can make another plate. And actually, not another plate. A plate. Hmm. Drum magazine. How much ammo do I have for that thing? Is it worth it? It might be worth making a drum magazine, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, that barely took anything. Alright, I'll make a plate. Actually, there's no reason to make a plate. Because one plate can't be used to make anything. I need two, so I might as well wait. Unless I'm out of inventory space, which I'm not. So, yeah. Oh, I heard you. Oh, hi. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm basically dead. And I was running as fast as possible. Okay, stimulant. And run. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Well, I'm glad I'm having to fight this thing really early on because it allows me to hone my skills with it. Once again, that. And... Detector... Okay. Great, I've already taken 40 points of damage. That went well. way. This way. For no particular reason at all. Holy crap, they take a lot of damage. Come on. Just gonna go ahead and take the med kit and then the canned meat. And let's make that. I'm getting so fast at crafting stuff. There's the SMG. I guess I don't need the auto pistol anymore. I'll keep the auto pistol. I don't think I need it for anything, but there's no reason to drop it. Rifle ammo, nice. Probably nothing worth a damn over here, but I'll check it in anyway. Oh god. It's a turret. Hold on. And gone.
I know you're here, squid thing. Holy shit, I thought you were dead. Well, I just wasted a ton of my health and armor. I'm doing pretty freaking terrible. I can't believe after having such a good run, I'm doing so bad. It's like I've lost my mojo. Where did my mojo go? Eh, what the hell, let's go up here. Alright, that just connects back to that. And that connects back to this. Let's, ooh, I think I just saw someone over there. On the map. Yeah, that's a person. Or, a monster, rather. Oh, there's just an amoeba. That was a waste of ammo. Oh, it's a camera. This is very open. And more canned meat. Alright, I can make one plate, no point. Oh shit! I am getting the hell out of here, goodbye! Okay, take a lot of shots and hide around corners and take stimulants. Uh, that's my strategy at the moment. That or have a... Uh, a Panzerfaust AP. Which seems to down them in one hit. Well, there's almost all of my ammo for that, I'm gonna put that down there. <sighs> okay. I'm not sure if that's for zombies or swarm bots at this point. I don't know if you encounter swarm bots on level 7. I can't remember. I really want that chest, though. Alright, I'm gonna use my shotgun. They are very vulnerable to the taser. Alright, this better be worth it. Battery, nail box, eh, not really. I mean, I basically got my ammo back. I, I guess it was worth it if I got my ammo back. Ooh, there's a Panzerfaust AP. Should I make that? Or should I make a can gun, which I love? I'm gonna make a Panzerfaust. Oh god, I'm glad I made a Panzerfaust. Oh, 
I'm really glad I made a Panzerfaust, because that is a Warwalker. A wonderful Warwalker. I don't think I took any damage. That actually went really well. It's disturbingly loud in here, which makes it hard to hear stuff, and that's a very long hallway. Let's clear this. It looks to be clear. Yep, it's clear. Now, let's start from the top down. Okay, let's start up here then. Secret. And plate. Unfortunately, I need two more cans to make another plate to make armor. Stimulant. That's actually very, very nice. Stimulants are becoming more and more important. In fact, they seem practically necessary for fighting almost any boss. Alright, let's go down. Why do I feel like zombies might pour out of these places? Ah, they will, but only if, only if I go there. We're not zombies, but swarm bots. Oh. But it, whatever, wherever it is, it's not in line of sight. So I'm okay. Looks like there's no way I can go over, so I need to go to the other side. Alright, if it is Swarm Boss, I'm gonna tase him. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Oh, whoa. Okay, there we go. Revolver, MG bullets, high velocity bullets. Oh, cool, high velocity bullets. So I can put this gun back in action. Get this drum magazine up to 90 for the MG. Uh, shotgun's almost out. I'm gonna put that down there. Okay. Not bad. Just need one more can and I can make armor. Oh, here we go. Have I ever been to 8B? I don't think I have. I'm curious. Hmm. Should I go exploring in other places or just go? Let me go exploring a little bit. 
little bit. I'm just going to put my toes in the water. Just put my toes in the water. Okay. I put my toes in the water and the water was... It, it bit my toes off. Yes, the water has teeth. See ya. Alright, I believe this is a place I have not been before. This is 8B. I'm going to go through the central reactor cooling sector next. Everything in the facility is powered by the reactor. The reactor itself is built deep into the planet core and is designed to be inaccessible for humans. But its cooling stations are located above the ground level. The cooling sector itself is a clean, well-guarded place. I could try to sabotage and manually destroy or shut down the coolers, but then I would certainly die myself in the resulting reactor explosion as well. And self-sacrifice was never my favorite form of altruism. It seems the only way out for me is the hard way, staying alive. Well, if there's one thing I'm good at, it's being hard. Oh, there's a chest. That is a lot of stuff. Med kit. Okay, now I have a bunch of stuff, so I'm going to dump the auto pistol. Whoops, I just reloaded it. Didn't mean to do that. Um, RDF stimulant. There's no point in making any of that. Well, actually, big explosive would be good, because then I can make a pens, uh, a Panzerfaust. Let's do that. Definitely want that. Alright, now I have ammo. Not for that, not for that, yes for that. Oh, I have two revolvers, let's dump that. Put that to the top. Okay. Storage cabinets marked on map, thank you. Ooh, there's another one there. And there are four more. Explosive grenades, 9mm clip, that's for the SMG. Some more high velocity bullets. Man, I've got uh, 70, 80, 94 shots for this thing. EM detector, yes please. I don't suppose I have enough stuff to make a teleport? No, I don't. Um, let's make another big explosive. I think I. What do I need to make a Panzerfaust AP? Maybe a tube or something, or more cans? I'm not sure. But I'm not going to make a normal one, because I think that's a waste. Alright, let's go. What is that? <laughs> um, I feel like shooting things close up should be a shotgun, but in reality, it's actually not very powerful. So I'm going to go with this. Kind of wasted a bunch of ammo there. MGHV, the high-velocity light machine gun. Militech assault rifles are designed to be super versatile for modding. MGHV can be constructed from the chassis of both the MG3200 standard assault rifle or the more modern HV semi-automatic rifle. This machine gun to truly represents the modern weaponry, being light, accurate, and hard-hitting. I wonder if it'd be better to have that than the MGHV. I feel like it says it's accurate, but I wonder if it's actually as accurate as the assault rifle. If it is, then I mean, why not? It shoots faster. That'd be great. But anyway, I can't make it, so it doesn't matter. Um, there's no chest up there, so there's no point in going there. The main reactor power levels. Summary by AI Observation Protocol number 3. Report to blah blah blah. Massive chaotically appearing spikes of power use during the teleglitch experiments registered. Current steady output and usage is at a record high and supersedes recommended safe levels of power output. However, the coolers seem to be also working above average and threat level assessment protocols report normal safety levels. Please contact the main AI communication protocol for, for discussing the issue. Hmm. Oh, hi! Oh, bye. There's another one. There's a fucking another one.
Oh my fucking god. Where did I just run? I just ran somewhere where I haven't been before. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Stimulant. Oh my god. I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Oh. Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, I got a craft. Detector, uh, stimulant, and that's it. That, and that, and MG, and stimulant, and good to go. I want that chest. I'm just gonna taser them. Any stragglers? Nope. Battery explosive and rifle ammo. Let's go over here. I don't like big open spaces. They make me uncomfortable. Let's go ahead and make the drum magazine. Okay, I guess that's uh, big open space is the only way to go. The thing about big open spaces is they make me always think that there's going to be something big to fill the big open space. I just realized that was aiming at me at the last second. I'm glad I caught that. It was about to unload on my face. I see another turret down there. Let's go take that out. That was close. But I'm fine, and that's all that matters. Wow, great aim. Good thing it's with a weapon I don't care about. Get MG bullets and a chip. Already have a stimulant. No reason to make a big explosive. Let's fill up this drum magazine. You're not dead. You are not dead. I knew it. Dead people bleed. At least in this game they do. Ooh, cool. Replace the auto pistol. Dump that. Sorting my stuff here. Alright. 
Let's go see what's around this lovely corner. More death and destruction, no doubt. Mm, nope. Okay. Time to start going somewhere. Let's go top right. Uh, top left, I mean. You are not dead. Now you're dead. I have a lot of ammo for the SMG. I should start using it for weaker stuff. I heard something. Oh god. Holy shit, I have like no health left. God, those tasers do so much damage. I did a better job of staying away from them than I did before. But still not great. Alright, so that's where these two doors lead to. Okay, this time, let's stay far away from it. Oh god. Oh, I think I, I killed it? I killed it. Alright, well this thing's pretty much done for, as far as ammo goes. I was gonna take a stimulant, but I guess I don't need to. Now what is this? Plate. Revolver, high... Oh, well, that thing's back in action. High velocity bullets. I just heard something open. I just heard something open. I think. I'm waiting. Maybe I didn't. I guess I didn't. Ooh, now I can make armor. Oh, crap. Whew. Motor. I still want to know what you can make with that motor. I haven't been able to make anything. I'm almost dead. Alright, that thing's out of commission. Yeah, I'm pretty damn close to dead at this point. Oh, there we go. Medkit.
All right, well, I fought the Warwalker and I fought the Squid thing, so that should take out the most dangerous enemies of this level. Oh god, is that another Warwalker? Okay. It's stimulant time. Okay, let's pound out the rest of this level. While I'm still high on my stimulant. God, I thought there's only one more walker. I guess there can, there can be more? I think he's got three shots left. That's basically done for as well. Alright, I don't really have any long-range weapons. At least not any significant amount of ammo for them. That blows. Improvements for squid laser. <laughs> yes, improve the squid lasers, please. Note to laser engineers, the AI has completed a series of tests with the heavy-duty lasers and noted that the duration of ray activation could be potentially doubled using nanostructures contained in the Militech standard microchips. Using the nanostructures contained in the Militech standard microchips. I think I've done that before, right? When I caught it, when I made it use double the batteries or something? Isn't that what that is? I think that's what it's talking about. Okay, where am I going? Top left. Well, I'm still high. Right in the high. And we're done. Oh, wait, there's a chest there. Oh, and a secret. And a medkit. Okay, this is going to put me back into action. Stimulant, excellent. That actually puts me right back in action. Decent amount of health, decent amount of armor. I have a stimulant. Um, yeah, let's... Let me run, see if I can find another chest. If I encounter any enemies, I'm running back. Okay, that's not worth it. Anything over there? Nah, fuck it. And my stimulants ran out. Stimulants ran out, so yeah, I'm done. Let's go for 8A. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Teleporter location marked on map, thank you. And it's all the way over there. Ah, this map. That went about as horribly as it could have, except I didn't die. I don't have any heavy weapons. 
I don't have any heavy armor-piercing weapons. That is bad. I ran out of ammo, and then I fumbled. That reminds me of why I should not keep weapons with limited ammo at the top of my list. Alright, let's go up. Hmm. Let's not go that way. Let's go down. What was that? Oh! Whoa! Shit! Uh, where are you? Where did it go? There's no way it lost me. They don't lose you. There we go. Used up the ammo for that piece of crap. Now, what was I saying? I was... saying... what is in here? It looks like a secret, but it... oh, it is a secret! Okay. Oh! <gasps> teleport! Yes! Oh, that is sweet. I'm probably gonna need to have 39 health and 14 armor, which is shit. Yeah, those drones are completely silent. Which is really dangerous for me. Especially in these highly occluded areas. Alright. Let's go over here. If I remember right, you don't encounter any major enemies until you press the button. So much shotgun, but I don't want to use it. Because it kind of blows. Against any enemy that can shoot back. Oh, hi! Alright, I'm going to test out the shotgun here. Confirm, shotgun blows. Where'd you go? <laughs> that fucker got behind me. Was that clever AI or just weird pathfinding? Yeah, shotgun seems to have no armor penetration. At all. Okay, let's go down. Okay, that's the button. That's the button of death. That's the button that causes you to die. And frankly, I don't have much to defend myself with. And I have very little health. And nothing that penetrates heavy armor, which is probably the most important thing I'm missing, aside from health. So let me go everywhere else first. Because if I can't find more supplies, I'm almost certainly going to die. Oh, hi. What do you know? I can't find any more supplies. Okay. Um... <laughs> I was thinking, after I press the button, maybe I can just run to the teleporter? Yeah, right. Just run to the teleporter. 
Well, I'm fucked. There's gonna be war walkers and squid monsters. And what do I have to defend myself? Well, some MG rounds, quite a bit of SMG, ton of shotgun, revolver, and a taser. And that's it. Why do I have two revolvers? Nail bomb is stupid. Big explosive, I already have one, there's no point. I'll put it to the top. To the top. Why not? <sighs> well, no point in delaying it. I'm gonna die, that's for sure. The only question is, when? Oh, right now! How am I still alive? Okay, well I don't hear any, any more noises, that's good. Gonna run as fast as my little cracked out legs can take me. Oh, I think it... Oh, it went into the void. If there's a squid monster, I am so dead. I want to know, do you think the squid monster can die to the void? I really don't think it can. But I'm going to try, because I obviously can't kill it without any armor-piercing weapons. Oh, no. Oh, fuck, it's the boss. How c <sighs> I'm going to face... The, tactic the blue walker, the tactical fire support walker which has heavy armor with no armor piercing weapons. Yeah. That's gonna go great. <sighs> and there's nothing I can make and absolutely no other place for me to explore that could possibly have any supplies. What's the most... Okay, the most penetrating thing. Uh, revolver. Good penetration and low accuracy. That's gonna be my top thing. Double shotgun. That has no armor penetration. So that can fuck off. Taser. I don't even know. Can you tase a robot? I tased the swarm bots, but I'm not exactly gonna tase a blue walker. Alright, I'm gonna use up all my revolver shots. And then my drum magazine MG, and then my SMG. I'm not even gonna try to, like, lay an explosive at it. That's just dumb. I guess... I'll make another big bomb. I guess I could try to throw the bombs at it. Maybe. Maybe? I don't know. Let's go. Rocket. Okay, but it should still be hurt, right? Right? Revolver can fuck off. Alright, alright, here we go. Alright, 
That is out. And now that is out. Shotgun. Taser. <laughs> I ended up trying to fucking taser a blue walker. <sighs> At certain points in our lives, we come to the understanding that health is more valuable than ammo. That is literally the exact opposite of what I just experienced. Sometimes ammo is far more important than health, as long as you have above zero hit points, because if you had zero hit points, you'd be dead. That was basically an unwinnable fight. Wow. Okay, well on that note, I think I'm gonna end the episode. I had a bunch of really bad runs, and then... Uh, an okay run? But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon with even more death.